Hello guys! Today I'm going to show you strategy pattern in c -sharp. A strategy pattern is mainly about selecting a special strategy for a special use. We are going to create a traveler app application where we are going to have two main classes, a travel planner and a travel strategy. This travel strategy will have three derivative classes, a car, a bus and a plane. Let's jump into the code. In the right bottom corner, you will see a simple map of our application. You will see in which point we are exactly at this time. So, I've already created a travel strategy, which I will call public and abstract, because three different classes will inherit from this class. The first field I'm going to make is a kilometer cost and its type of integer and as the second I'm going to make a method that is called drive and we return decimal and we'll take the amount of kilometers. Now I'm going to create a new folder in which I will implement three of our classes the car classes, the bus and the plane. The folder will be called travel strategies. So let's implement Let's create our first class, the bus class, the second one, the car, and the third one, a plane class. Now I'm going to add each of them a public parameter and I'm going to inherit in them from a travel strategy. I will create a simple constructor where I will assign the kilometer cost. In a plane, it will be 50. Also, let's implement this drive method. Let's override it. And let's create a special algorithm for flying a plane. Yeah, I know it's driving, but flying sounds better. So, I will return the number of kilometers multiplied by a kilometer cost. It's just simple strategy. At the beginning, I'm going to copy that for each of our class, then we are going to modify it. Also let's call it public, let's make it inherit from travel strategy, let's call the constructor and assign the kilometer cost to let's say 25. Now at the end the bus class and will be ready. Let's just inherit, implement the drive method and call the constructor with 20 for a kilometer. Now I'm going to modify this drive method in a plane. So let's set if we are going to travel more than at 1000 kilometers, the price of each kilometer will be reduced to only 50. Now traveling a plane is much more cheaper. For the last rest of the classes, Let's leave it like that. Let's now implement the last class, the travel planner, where we are going to plan everything out. Let's call it public. Let's make a private field that is the travel strategy because we are going to decide which strategy we are going to take, which strategy for the road for our trip. Let's make simple void method it's like our constructor, for example, because we are going only to assign this travel strategy by this method. And the second method, the drive method, that will show you the cost of our drive with the amount of kilometers as a parameter. Let's create a variable called cost and it will be the result of the drive method with the amounts of kilometers. We can now print it out to our users to see the final result. Cost of the drive is equal to the cost returned from the drive method. Let's put it together in our mine class. Let's now create a travel planner, a new object from this class, and set the travel strategy Let's say we are going to create a new car object 
because we want to drive by a car. Now let's call the method drive. Let's paste 1100 kilometers and at the end use the read key method to disable the console from exiting. Let's run this application. Just wait a second and we are going to see the result. Yeah, now we've, now we've got that. 27,000, 27 amount of money. Let's set dollars. And now let's see with the plane. And it's much more cheaper. It was only 60,000. That's all. Thank you for watching.